Hello and welcome. You are watching Beyond World is One. I'm Jyotsna Kumar. There's law lined up, but first the headlines. Democratic National Convention opens in Chicago. President Joe Biden to speak shortly expected to urge fellow Democrats to unite behind Vice President Kamala Harris in the fight for the White House. Pedestrians arrested at the Democratic National Convention after dozens of pro-Palestinian demonstrators break through part of the perimeter security fence, drawing riot police to the site. I wonder if they knew where she comes from, where she came from, what her ideology is. Donald Trump unleashes attacks against Kamala Harris and her running mate during a rally in York Inn, Pennsylvania. Claims Joe Biden is deposed in a coup orchestrated by Harris. U.S. intelligence officials say they consider Iran to be responsible for recent hack of Donald Trump's presidential campaign. It was part of ongoing cyber attacks by Tehran. Ukrainian President Zelensky says Kiev's assault on Russia's Kursk region shows that Kremlin threats of retaliation were a bluff, urges allies to loosen curbs on using foreign-supplied weapons. Amid protests across India against rape and murder of Trini Doctor in Kolkata, Supreme Court is set to hear a Suomoto case today. Bench headed by India's Chief Justice has taken cognizance of the incident. Markets to your appointment of Thailand's new prime minister focus shifts to revive tourism industry. But how does that impact you, the global jet setter? That's what we decode for you on the show today. The sole arbitrator in the Vinish Fogat case has called the rule of the world wrestling body draconian, but also adds that the rules must be followed and are the same for everyone. <laughs> 